Swain's here with homework number 11 and 12, the selected problems for tonight's homework, okay? I have highlighted them um, or circled them so we know what to do. Okay, for this first problem, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to the student resources page on my website. I'm going to click, click the algebra tiles, and that is how we're going to build it. I'm going to select the background of the expression mat, and let's build out this expression to help us simplify it. Okay, to simplify this expression, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find my zero pairs and then delete them. Next up, I'm going to transfer all of the tiles that are on the bottom of the mat and I'm going to flip them to the top and I also flip their sign. I have another zero pair and I'm left with 2x plus negative 1. Okay, so that would be the answer, 2x plus negative 1, or you could say 2x minus 1. Now another thing that we can do is we can make the zero pair. If, we're, if you don't have the mats uh, digitally, but you have the, the hard copies, you can draw those exact same things, and I end up with 2x plus negative 1. Okay, for B, I'm going to flip my tile, and then I have my X's make a zero pair, so I'm left with 1, 2, 3, 4. So that expression is equivalent to 4. Last one, flip everything to the top, so I have a negative Y, two negative ones, so I have X squared minus Y minus 4 for my expression. Okay, next up, we're going to simplify uh, this expression. We can build it out with the tiles, or we can use the uh, just combine like terms. So I'm going to box my like terms, x plus x plus 2x minus x. So 1x, 2x, 3, 4x's minus x is 3x. And then everything else stays the same. 4x squared and minus 3. So simplified expression, 4x squared plus 3x minus 3. Next up, let's combine our like terms. 8x squared minus 13x squared would be negative 5x squared plus 10x squared is positive 5x squared. Next, I'm going to combine my x's. 3x minus 25x's, that would be negative 22x's, minus one more x would be negative 23x's. Okay, for problem 32, we need to evaluate the expressions. Remember, we are substituting this value for x, or for x and y, into the expressions and seeing what the expression is equivalent to. So 6 over, and I'm going to substitute 3 in for x plus 9. 6 divided by 3 is 2, plus 9 would be 11. Okay, for b, negative, and I substitute in 2 for x squared, plus 1 for y. Order of operations tells me I'm going to square this 2. Notice how this negative sign is not inside the parentheses, so I'm not squaring the negative sign. So I have negative two, or sorry, positive 2 squared is 4, so that becomes negative 4 plus 1, and I get negative 3. Okay, next problem C, I've got negative 2, substituting 5 for x, and negative 3 for y. 
negative 2 times 5 is negative 10 times negative 3 would be positive 30. Okay, lastly, 2 times the quantity, negative 3 squared minus 8. Okay, this time I am squaring that negative sign, so negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. 2 times positive 9 minus 8. 18 minus 8, or 10 for my answer. Okay, moving on to the last problem of the homework, which was 41. Okay, this is what we did in class. Uh, we are simplifying these. The first one I'm actually going to use the... Um, I'll, I'll just hand draw this one and then we'll use the algebra tile mats for the next one, okay? So make, find my zero pairs, eliminate them. Move everything to the top then. I have a negative one and a negative x. That makes another zero pair. Uh, over here I've got n minus six, so those are, I'm gonna move to the top. Two, three, four, five, Six. So now I have x on both sides that I can remove. And I have negative 2 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Negative 8. Well, negative 2 is greater than negative 8, so the left side is greater. Okay, for this last one, we are going to go back to those algebra tiles. Uh, I'm going to clear that out. And then I'm also going to switch my background to the comparison mat, comparison mat 2. Okay. Now build this out with algebra tiles. Got x, that, got positive 1, negative 1, negative, negative. Okay, other one over here. And I've got negative one and positive three. Negative two and positive four. Okay, so for this one, first thing we're going to do is combine out and make our zero pairs. Okay, so once I have my zero pairs, I'm going to delete them. Oh, I also accidentally deleted a negative x there. Okay, um, oh, there's one more zero pair. Okay, now we have our zero pairs. Uh, remove. So now what I'm going to, oh, we also have a zero pair for our x's. Okay, now I'm going to move all the tiles to the top, but remember when I flip them over, I also need to flip their sign. So my expression remains equivalent. Okay, now again, I've got zero pairs there. Combine my like terms. Uh, one last thing is I've got the same, I've got two x's on each side. So when I have the same value on each side of my comparison, both the left and the right, I can subtract two x from here. And as long as I subtract two x from this side as well, my expressions remain equivalent. Now I have negative uh, six over here. And I've got no tiles, so the value is zero here. So which is greater? The right side is greater. Uh, that's it for the homework. Uh, as always, you're welcome to do additional problems. Uh, my students are go-getters, so they like to do that extra practice. But if you need a brain break, I totally get it. 
Uh, as always, if you need help, come see me uh, in ninth period during my office hours. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Zwayne's out.